hello guys welcome to our channel uh, in the previous video we have seen how classic load balancer works so in this video we are going to see we are going to configure application load balancer more specifically we are going to see how to configure path based routing in this so what is application load balancer and the various features that uh, application load balancer supports so we know that application load balancer operates on application layer or the layer 7 of the OSI model it supports path based routing meaning that we can route configuration rules which allow us to uh, route uh, based upon the path in your request uh, it supports host, ba host based routing meaning that we can uh, we can write configuration rules which allow us to route based upon the uh, host field in your HTTP header then it also supports routing requests to multiple applications on the same EC2 instance so there are various features of application load balancer but I have listed the most commonly used ones only here so I have listed down the difference between classic load balancer and application load balancer which uh, help us identify why we need to use application load balancer so classic load balancer does not support path based routing so if you want to go with uh, path based routing you definitely have to go with uh, application load balancer so in, the, in case of a uh, classic load balancer we are not supposed to create target groups but uh, in case of application load balancer we have to create target groups and register EC2 instance with the target groups so we will uh, see a demo where we will create target groups and uh, application load balancer so this is the architecture we are going to develop by the end of this video suppose you have an e-commerce application and uh, various microservices have been installed on, on the different EC2 applications so one of the EC2 application is responsible for handling a uh, clothing request and while the other one is uh, responsible for handling uh, electronics uh, microservices um, uh, so, uh, by, so we will configure an application load balancer and uh, add listener configuration rules which will help us uh, route uh, the incoming request to the uh, target group specified so let's move on to the uh, man AWS management console so I am into EC2 management console here in the instances tab you can see that I have already, in I have already launched, uh, launched two EC2 instances on the different availability zones uh, the first one the first ec2 instance uh, responsible for clothing microservices has been launched into us east 1a while the other uh, which is responsible for handling uh, electronics microservices is uh, launched into us east 1b and uh, we'll also have a look at what the application says when we route to uh, slash clothing and slash electronics so this is this is the EC, uh, this is the application on EC2 one, and this is the application on EC2 two. Uh, so we'll uh, uh, move ahead with creating target groups. So target groups are available in the EC2 management console only. So I'll click on the target groups. Target groups are nothing but uh, collection of EC2 instances or collection collection of similar servers. So when you route a request to application load balancer, it sends that request to the target groups, and target group is responsible for routing the request to the EC2 instance attached to it. So I'll go ahead with creating car target groups. So I'll name this target group as target uh, group one so the target type is EC2 instance I'll keep the other settings as is so here we get a message that we have successfully created a target group I'll close this message so in the targets tab we'll have to register the EC2 instance with this target group so I'll click on edit and select I'll select the uh, one of the EC2 instance running on US East 1A and click on add to register next I'll click on the save button to register this 
uh, EC2 instance with the target group. So I have created one of the target group and I'll go into create another target group here. So I'll name this target group as target group 2. The target type is of instance and I'll keep the default settings as is. So we'll get a message that we have successfully created a target group here. Now in the target group 2 I'll uh, register an EC2 instance. I'll click on edit and I'll register uh, the next EC2 instance by clicking on add to register and the save button next. Here we have successfully registered EC2 instance with the uh, respective uh, target groups, target group 1 and target group 2. So now we, are, now we can go ahead and create a, create a load balancer. So I click on the load balancers and there uh, I'll cre click on the create load balancer. From here I will navigate to application load balancer by clicking on the create button here. I'll name this load balancer as uh, uh, my load balancer. So it is definitely an internet facing load balancer. So the default listener is uh, listening on uh, HTTP listening HTTP protocol on uh, port 80. So here we have to select the availability zones where you have launched the your EC2 instance in, instances into. So you have previously seen that I have, inst have launched EC2 instances on uh, US East 1A and US East 1B. And we have to select at least two availability zones here. So I'll select two of them. So the load balancer routes the traffic to the targets in these availability zones. Next I'll click on configure security settings. So here we get a warning saying that you need to improve the load balancer security. This is because we are configuring HTTP protocol and HTTP uh, traffic on HTTP uh, protocol is not secure, not encrypted by default. So I'll click on configure security groups. So uh, I'll select one of the existing security group uh, which allows HTTP protocol on uh, port 80. Now I'll click on configure routing. So this is this is the page we can uh, we can use for routing your default routes. So here I will choose one of the existing target group and the target group name of the target group. So the default uh, routing will go to the target group one. Next I'll click on the register targets. This is nothing but the instance ID of the uh, uh, EC2 instance in target group 1 we ha which we had registered with uh, target group 1. Then review and launch our load balancer. Review and create our load, balan uh, load balancer. Here we go get to see all the configurations we have, create uh, we have gone through while creating the load balancer and we can also edit these uh, configurations here. Now I'll hit on the create button. It says we got we get a message saying uh, we have successfully created the load balancer. Let's uh, navigate to the load balancer. So in the description section you can see the DNS name of the load balancer. And the load balancer is still getting provision. So we'll have to wait till the state of this load balancer is active. So by the time the state of the load balancer is active, we are, we are going to add some listener configuration rules to the load balancer. So we can add uh, the configuration rules by clicking on the listener tab. So here you can see the default rule uh, which we have specified while creating the load balancer, application load balancer. Now to add and uh, further rules, we, can we have to click on view and edit rules here. So I'll click on that. 
to add a rule we have to click on the plus button here then again we have to uh, click on the plus button here to or the insert rule uh, word here so i'm going to add a condition so if the path contains uh, uh, something like clothing slash star and uh, something uh, anything after it it should read re redirect or forward to target group 1 so i'll save this rule this is my first rule and then i have to click on the save button as well i'll again insert one more rule here and in this rule i'll specify uh, again specify a path based uh, condition so if my path contains electronics and anything after that it should redirect or forward me to target group 2 I'll save these rules so any time any given point of time you can edit these rules by clicking on the edit rules button here So I'll go back to the load balancer section by clicking on the back button here. So it's still getting provision. We'll wait for some time till the uh, status of the load balancer becomes active. So here is it is active now. Now we will uh, grab the DNS name of the load balancer and paste it into the browser. So it is redirecting to the target group 1, EC2 instance co configured around target group 1. Uh, let me append electronics here. So let me append electronics at the end of this uh, DNS name here. So electronics slash. See it will redirect us to the EC2 instance launched in the target group 2 associated with the target group 2. So this is how we can configure path based routing in application load balancer. So we can go to the home uh, default page here and click on clothing. So it will take us to the target group one EC2 instance uh, configured on target group one registered with target group one. So this is it guys for application path based routing in application load balancer. Please uh, let me know if you have a if you have any questions or doubts in the comment section below. Thanks. Bye.